Okay, welcome back to live here in Palo Alto studio. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante, co-host of theCUBE. It's our, our day two wrap up of SuperCloud 3. Dave, we had two days of great guests, amazing leaders in the industry um, and practitioners and, and influencers and experts weighing in on the SuperCloud acceleration, the trend that is SuperCloud, which is now becoming more and more real as, as it goes on its third episode as we go to our fourth episode coming up in October, which is going to be all about AI. This theme this past two days is security plus AI. Um, new information coming in from the, from the guests, some great insights, observations, and some great data that you brought in from ETR and some of the breaking analysis um, that kind of sheds a picture on this. And again, this is part of our effort to share our observations across all our events that we go to and put it out in the open in open source way. And, and we can't do this without our sponsors. And I want to just recognize that uh, without sponsors, we can't help you. So endorse the sponsors, check out their names, VMware, NetApp, we got Hammerspace, we got Enterprise Web, we got um, um, Vicinity. Check them out. They're supporting us so we can support you with not, as much knowledge as possible. Uh, Dave, again, AI, and security, big theme. And again, can AI, can, generative AI continues to boom even as we're here on stage yesterday and today, Microsoft's big news, Meta open sourcing Llama 2, more and more AI goodness hitting the network, creating a power law of, of uh, models and foundation models that's going to continue to change the dynamics of the software business. Open source, proprietary versus open. And then of course, next gen cloud scale, big part of it. We heard about semantic layers. We heard about the security game as a speed game. That's a pro level, not like high school ball. It's like pro ball. Um, just great leaders sharing their insights. This has been a pretty epic two days. You know, John, SuperCloud has always been a metaphor for the future. And the, the folks who didn't like that said, oh, it's, that's just multi-cloud or that's just hybrid cloud, kind of missed the point. And we're now seeing that to come into focus with SuperCloud 3, because it's always been about stretching that fabric, that massive distributed system where the data lives, which is everywhere. And now with AI, you're injecting a whole new set of capabilities, which are completely changing the way that we think about technology, not only in terms of what it can do, but how we interact with it, you know, through, as Howie Shu was saying, through natural language. Cloud was code, infrastructure is code. Code is now natural language. And that's changing everything. And the super cloud is the underpinning of that innovation. You can go back, we would love to talk about the historical perspective. I've heard people say, we don't need another name. Even O Malik was, was like saying that, um, and, and, and Fitz, Fitzy was kind of poo-pooing it. Every wave has a name. And I remember, go back to mini to, main, mini to PCs, PCs to local area networks. I mean, it must have been at least 10 years that every year was the year of the LAN, local area network. LANs ended up happening. We don't need another name. It's a, it's a network's a network. Local networks, subnets, wide area networks, that ended up happening. This wave has a name, it's called SuperCloud. And it's not just about people and technology and process. It's the next 10 to 20 years. I'll give you an example. It's not just about multiple clouds, it's about the people who implement IT and technology and deploy it and make, uh, enable consumption of technology. So it's the IT market, it's the developers. They're building the next generation infrastructure and software that has to run on all environments, all clouds, Amazon, Azure, on-premise, private, edge cloud. So SuperCloud talks about that career path that's intellectually the intellectual capital of the human. And now you got data with AI, which is a data capital. So what's in someone's head is their IP, what's on, in a model is IP, that's AI, right? AI is going to power data and people's intellectual knowledge, domain expertise, institutional knowledge about what they know. So every job is impacted for sure, I think in a positive way. So this is what SuperCloud represents, that whole generational shift. So to me, it's IT for the next 20 years. It's security for the next 20 years. It's data and data management, data coding for the next 20 years. It's apps for the next 20 years. I think words matter. And to your point, you, know, you go back to PC, remember the PC era, everything was PCs. Like, PC distribution, PC printers, it was PC everything. And then the internet, you know, internet everything. And then, you know, cloud, cloud storage, cloud computing, you know, cloud security. So maybe- Websites, web apps, right, web every, servers. Every, everything, right, data, everything, the big data, you know, everything was big data this, big data that. So words matter and 
these waves occur, we call the super cloud to really, again, be that indicator of the future. You know, that word might change, but the point is, I think, I think it was we were talking about with Vittoria, we were ahead of the wave in many ways, we helped create the wave, and now it's just innovation everywhere, and so we're thrilled to be part of it. The other key theme of SuperCloud as a wave is, in all these big waves where there's really structural change, and Jake Guthrell mentioned this, it's taking value and distributing it everywhere, so abstractions emerge. So when abstractions emerge, we hear that things get done faster, they're simpler and easier to use. That is always the formula for success when you have these inflection points. Every single wave in history, makes something harder, complex, and costly, less costly, faster, and easier. And then this goes to the next level. So, you know, open source, stand on the shoulders of giants, that continues to thrive. Cloud scale, that continues to scale and get stronger and, and, and everywhere. So I think that's a big part of this narrative we're seeing is, and the younger generation that are coming into the market, like, oh my God, this is awesome, it's so easy. They're not deploying Linux servers and configuring it. It's just, it's just there for them. So I think this is where I think the application market's going to boom. It's going to be a Cambrian explosion of applications powered by AI and humans, more importantly, and intellectual capital in someone's head, data in someone's brain is going to be really powerful IP. And that's going to be, you're going to start to see creativity from interns to, to the boardroom. And, and the more things get simpler, you know, cloud took away all this undifferentiated heavy lifting, the more they get complex. Right, as they advance. So the cloud is actually quite complex today. I, I think we've been talking about chaos here all week. I think AI injects a lot of chaos into the system and a lot of disruptions. You know, we were kind of debating who it takes advantage, incumbents or, or disruptors. One thing's for sure, everybody's life is going to get disrupted by AI in some way, shape, or form. And so I, I would predict, you know, initially there's going to be a lot of you know, enthusiasm, a lot of great use cases, a lot of great innovation, but it's going to create a lot of chaos as well. Industries are going to get disrupted. Uh, in, jobs are going to get disrupted. Individual, the way individuals work, organizational structures are going to get, get disrupted. The way we sell, the way we consume, the way we purchase, all of that is going to change. Yeah, and the security plus AI conversation, CrowdStrike, again, notable name on theCUBE, the CEO really kind of addressing that. We heard that from them directly. Um, vicinity, a great uh, session we had there. They come from the federal DOD side. They're going, they, they're like, we'll move data around. So you start to see new innovations. And so this brings up the, you know, what was once a sacred cow or dogma is going to be broken down by, by this new innovation. I think you're going to start to see things get a little bit tense as this next innovation puts pressure on incumbents. The role of an incumbent player, Howie Shu brought this up clearly, that the role of the players already in market will be uh, uh, impact on whether they lean into it or not or impact it. So, you know, we'll see. I like that, um, just to throw out another sponsor named NetApp, what NetApp chose to do for SuperCloud is let's, let's put our CISO in front of the audience and let's talk about culture, let's talk about a security culture Mignona Cote, she talked about, I asked her like, how do you affect the security culture? By speaking in the language that people yeah. understand. Don't click on links, <laughs> as opposed to talking about, yeah. you know, sassy or some kind of security sec ops term, right? So yeah. things like that. And Hammerspace, David Flynn, who's the founder, who we've known from Fusion IO, he disrupted the um, flash market while having a server, uh, server component. He's going to disrupt the NAS market. He looks at it in a complete different way. He's got a very disruptive approach. Check out Hammerspace. Well, the thing about Hammerspace is they basically are the super cloud for connecting all data. I mean, you know, he, he will say there's no such thing as unstructured data, but semi-structured data, they're connecting as a super cloud. Yeah, and layer. VMware, Kit Colbert was on. He was talking about how generative AI is going to change that whole cross cloud equation. And he kind of was, he had a good session, but he was holding stuff back from VMware Explorer, which will be at with the Cube. So right. the VMware is coming up. So, and again, vicinity, CrowdStrike, Hammerspace, Enterprise Web, NetApp, and VMware, all great companies supporting us. And of course, great leaders as well. And Doug Merritt's coming out of retirement. Great to see that. Um, we can see all the CEOs coming on. Great. And see Vittorio Villarengo, the first to really see the super cloud trend, uh, leaned into it when we were formulated. He got it right away. 
uh, experienced uh, marketer and executive. He used to be coder uh, uh, as well, so he's technical. He, he got it right away. Yeah, it's become a it's become a movement in a way. I mean, people people at least talking about it. They're thinking about it, and I think now it's coalescing into you know what there is something different beyond multi cloud, beyond hybrid cloud. And that is what we chose to call SuperCloud. And this, this was SuperCloud 3, Security plus AI. SuperCloud 4, mark your calendars. First, either the first two weeks of October, first week or second, we're going to pick a date. It's going to be all about AI and foundational models. We're going to go deep. We're going to have a really impactful conversation. So mark your calendars. And if you have any ideas, text us, contact us. If you want to be involved, we'll probably have speaker sessions as well. We might produce a content catalyst. So much demand for content. And again, we're super excited to share that with you. And again, it wasn't for our sponsors. Support them because we, they support us to support you. This is theCUBE and that's the wrap. SuperCloud 3, for Dave Vellante, I'm John Furrier. Thanks for watching.